Welcome again to Introducing God, our daily devotional series. And when we last left the story, Joseph's life seems to be getting better. He's been sold into slavery, but now he's in Potiphar's house and he's now in charge of Potiphar's house. Everything seems to be going right. Sometimes, sometimes as preachers, we leave off the rest of the stories. We show how when you serve God, everything's going to go great. At least that's what we imply. But what we miss is that sometimes even when you serve God, things can go wrong. But keep serving God. Here's why I say this. Let's pick up the story with Joseph. Joseph is in charge of Potiphar's house. We found out he's well-built and handsome. Verse 7. Now it happened after these events that his master's wife set her eyes on Joseph and said, Lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Behold, with me here, my master does not concern himself with anything in the house, and he has given me all that he owns into my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, and he has withheld nothing from me except you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great evil and sin against God? So it happened that she spoke this way to Joseph day after day. He did not listen to her, to lie beside her, or to be with her. Now it happened on one day when he went to the house to do his work that none of the men of the household was there inside. Then she seized him by his garment and said, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and went outside. Now it happened that when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and had fled outside, that she called to the men of her household and spoke to them, saying, See, he has brought in a Hebrew to us to laugh at us. He came into me to lie with, him, lie with me, and I screamed. Now it happened that when he heard that I raised my voice and screamed, he left his garment beside me and fled and went outside. And she placed his garment beside her until his master came home. Then she spoke to him with these words, saying, The Hebrew slave whom you brought to us came in to laugh at me. And I raised my voice and screamed, and he left his garment beside me and fled outside. We get the whole story. Joseph is being upright. He's being moral. He is saying, I cannot sin against my master or against God. I am not going to have this type of relationship with you, Mrs. Potiphar. So she sets a trap. Conveniently, all the men of the household are missing when Joseph comes in. And she grabs him and says, come lie with me. He runs out of there. He gets out of there. He flees the temptation. He flees the sin. Being approximately 17 to 21 years old, he says, no, that's not what this is about. I can't do this against God. He runs away. She lies. She tells the men of the household, I, I screamed. You heard me scream. Here's what happened. He came in to attack me. When Mr. Potiphar comes home, she says the same thing. This slave you brought in here, he tried to take advantage of me and laugh at us. Here's my point. Sometimes, maybe even many times, when we do the right thing, the world, and sadly sometimes even Christians, will be against us. Sometimes, people will try to make you look bad simply because you're doing what's right. but do what's right anyway. Even if it means you get hurt in the process. It would have been to Joseph's advantage to go ahead and become her toy. It was not uncommon in that culture. But he said no. It's not the right thing to do. So he chose suffering for what was right over the pleasures of sin. 
Kind of sounds like another character in the Bible that we'll get to at some other point. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, thank you for the story of Joseph. Thank you for helping us see that he is able to get away from the temptations, that there is a way of escape. That he was able to say no. Father, help us to have the same fortitude of spirit that says we're going to do what's right even when it is difficult. Thank you for being with us. And Father, if we fall short, we know that you are there to forgive us. But Father, help us to make it our goal, our aim to be right and to do right. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's Word. As always, I do look forward to these and I hope you do as well. Until the next time, my prayer is that God will bless your day. Mm -hmm.